In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the batch function on the Unit 5 scale. First thing, we'll enable the batch feature by going into mode and going under program, under preset key, ensure the green check mark is set to set, and then we'll touch a gray square. We're looking for batch, label batch, so that's on page 2, and the first one, number 27. Label batch will allow us to print out batches of piece count items only. So to test this, we'll exit out. Um, click on this guy to go back to the operation mode. When we touch label batch, it asks us for PLU numbers, counts, PLU names. So if I touch PLU number, it gives me a list of all my PLUs. Currently, I have PLU2 as a piece count item. Then I'll set, let's say, two counts. So now it'll print out two of them. And I could set more PLU numbers as long as they're piece count items. And you'll highlight them. And then if I want to print this one here, I'll go print. And as soon as one comes out, as I tear it off, the next one comes out. So that's let label batch function. There are other ways to do this as well. First, we've got to program some preset keys, however. We'll go into mode, we'll go into program, and then preset key. Currently, I'm on page one, I'll go down to page two. The reason I go to page two is because whenever a PLU is called up, it defaults it back to page two. So I need to set some functions here, so I'll make sure my green check mark is set to set. First square here, I'll load up the uh, save key, number eight here on the second page. I'll load up another function, which is my sorry my peel mode, which is page 26 on page 1. And then finally, I'll load up my last function, which is my print quantity, and that's located on page 7. Okay, I can exit out here. I'll go back to operation mode. Now, in order to test this, if I call up a PLU, these are this is PLU 1, this is PLU 2. I set them already on the keyboard. If I call up a weight item, it defaults me to page 2. Okay, I can page back up, that's page 1. I can page back down, that's page 2. If I go 0 PLU, that resets. So let's call up a weight item. Okay, What does the save key do? What it does, it saves the PLU information. For instance, I have a weight item here, so what it's waiting for is to put on a weight. So I'm going to put on a weight of 2 kilograms. And as soon as I press print, my label comes out. As soon as I take off the weight, it goes back. My PLU information is gone. So if I turn on the save feature, I'll go weight item, save on, put on my weight, press print, take off my label, take off my weight, my PLU information is still there. Now I can go ahead and weigh an item of the, the same PLU, but it'll probably have different weight. I can take my item off. So I'll turn off the save feature and then exit out. I'll go zero PLU. Next, let's play with the piece count item. Sorry. Under piece count item, um, what peel mode does. It, we're peeling the labels individually, so I'll enter a quantity of, let's say, 2, print quantity 2, I press print, I can tear off my label, and then my second one comes out as soon as I tear it off. And then my operation goes back to normal. Or I can go piece count item again, I'll change my peel mode to with backing, so what that allows is that it keeps the labels all on the backing. And I'll, let's say, print three of them, print quantity three. As soon as I press print, they all come out one after the other. And then I can go ahead and start labeling my items. And that's the features of the label batch on the Uni5. Thank you.